You know, we just mentioned it. There are a number of delays and cancellations at the airport. News for Jack's reporter Brittany Jones is live now from the airport. Brittany, what's been happening for these passengers that they can't get out of the airport? Well, Janice, I spoke to the Jax Aviation Authority and they tell me it's definitely the weather. In fact, multiple airports across the southeast have been impacted by this. And then the passengers I spoke to here tell me they've been waiting a long time. Rose and Ken Cohen are traveling, ready to celebrate a special occasion. And we're celebrating your 95th birthday in, in uh, Philadelphia. In Philadelphia because my whole family lives there. So, so it's a happy occasion. But that birthday celebration has been delayed thanks to Mother Nature. Travelers on Southwest and Delta Airlines sent News for Jacks these videos showing the long lines and crowded waiting areas. Some people tell us they waited early in the morning to late afternoon. Everybody's been very nice, but it's very unusual that there's a long line at the Delta counter, and that's because everybody is trying to make last minute changes. The Cohen say their flight was delayed at least three times. Uh, we kept getting notifications from Delta Delta that the flight was getting pushed back and we're traveling to Philadelphia so we had to make a connection. The connection wasn't getting pushed back so I didn't think we were going to make it. The Jacksonville Aviation Authority says passengers should check flight status before heading to the airport and arrive at least two hours before departure to find parking and get through security. Flights just get pushed back and uh, one delay leads to another delay leads to another one and you just have to be understanding. I just go with the flow. <laughs> say they're going with the flow and I did even speak to one family who says they had waited so long today that they just decided to cancel their flight and they'll be leaving tomorrow morning on another airline instead. You can count on us to keep you posted on all of those updates. Reporting live on the north side, Brittany Jones, Channel 4, the local station.